Lord of Awareness Week and today's video is going to be about my story and how a bulimic mind goes on inside my mind. So obviously I've been dealing with bulimia for, I would narrow it down to a decade now because a decade ago that was when I first started experiencing mental health and that's when mental health came into my life because I moved schools, moved high schools, I moved house as well and um, it did affect me a lot but in the reason I moved school was because I was getting bullied because I used to be naturally ginger my last name and that's why I go under the name as Melissa Grimes because ever since um, I was bullied in high school I've just despised my last name it never used to affect me in primary school because it was just a fun time primary school and I remember like just going on the playground, having my hair back, being the tomboy, playing football with the lads with a little tennis ball and I used to love that but then when I got to high school all of that changed and it was a really big difference for me because being a tomboy in high school I never used to wear a bra so yeah people like made fun of me so then yeah I started wearing a bra because then I like hit puberty as well I guess so um started wearing a bra and then periods came into my life but then when I moved high school because I stopped eating because of people bullying me for that reason too um I stopped eating I reduced my calories I was uh, borderline anorexic because my BMI went right down and this is just a big video for me so I wanted to do this to spread awareness and because eating disorder awareness week is very close to me and I relate to it a lot and I just want people out there not to go through what I did because no one deserves to do that like go through it so what I've done is plan again like I have to plan out my videos otherwise I lose track of what I'm going through where I am at so what I've just started off with was where it all started, how it started, so that's the first step done. So the next step I'm going to go on to is how it affects me in my daily life and how it's affected me over the past uh, decade. So yeah, if I keep on looking at this, that's why. So with um, the bulimia nervosa, I didn't really deal with that until I moved high school because I discovered what bulimia nervosa was. I only knew what anorexia nervosa was. So when I discovered what bulimia was, I can't remember like what my first encounter with coming to bulimia with. I just remember when I moved high school, I would always come home, maybe six o'clock in the evening. I would make a big bowl of pasta with gravy. I know some people hate the thought of that, but that used to be like my meal main meal and i would put cheese on it and i would binge on that it the bowl was so deep i would just go to my room watch pewdiepie i remember that and um just have a big bowl of pasta with gravy cheese and broccoli sometimes and then go to the toilet and then my parents found out what i was doing so they referred me to cams no, I, I was referred to CAMS when I moved high school because they, they noticed a difference in what like my behaviour and everything. I kept on going to my room. Of, like Normally I would sit downstairs with my parents and spend time with them. But it just all changed. And when that changed, then they referred me to CAMS. And then ever since my first encounter with a therapist, I've just been so intrigued about what they have to uh, do and how much help they give even though some parts are like awkward and sometimes you just feel like you're not getting the right help but you just gotta think about what them people have done to get to that stage and that's where I want to be in the future so um yeah I started having the ball pasta every day at six o'clock it was a set time and then my confidence just went down and I stopped um, going out to play with their friends 
because I always used to go out, I always used to go down to the bottom field and there was like a big dip that went down so when uh, I had my bike or my scooter I used to ride down that hill, it was fun but um, when that all changed my confidence, it just went down I didn't socialise when I went to school, I just came straight home sometimes I missed school because I didn't want to go in because I was afraid of what would happen or something but when I moved high school that all changed and ever since I moved high school that was the best choice I have ever made so uh, and there was this one girl that always stuck by me Nicole which um, I hopefully will be doing a video with uh, in the next couple of days I think so yeah thank you to Nicole for doing that even though we've had our ups and downs she's always been there she understands me and she accepts me for who I am and even though we do have our ups and downs what friendship doesn't so she is a really close friend of mine and I class her as family and her little girl Lily she she's changed my life so much both of them have so a big thank you to Nicole for that <laughs> but next step so when uh, my confidence was locking down that's when uh, the depression kicked in and I would go through phases of not talking to anyone I wouldn't even talk to my parents and like right now I think I'm experiencing a depressive episode because the past few days I've been just up in my room like when I said I normally go downstairs to spend some time with my family all I've done is sat in my room and looked at my laptop and obviously that's not a good routine to have it's not a healthy routine to have so yeah i think i'm experiencing like a depressive episode i don't know why i think i think i know why but i, mean, I can't pinpoint what it is so yeah major uh, depressive episodes i can't enjoy food anymore like i used to before all the mental health i remember being just a normal kid, enjoying food, going out with family to uh, restaurants and enjoying food and not having to worry about anything in my mind or anything like physical, you know? But now that's all changed and bulimia has really affected me. And like, I can't, I can go out for family meals, but I have to have a bowl of soup. That's because that's all I feel comfortable with eating when I'm out and around people. I c because normally, if I did go out for food, I'd go straight to the bathroom after, but now be because people know what I'm dealing with and my parents know what I'm doing, I can't exactly do that. It's not very nice for other people to experience, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I just hate the feeling of being full. It's horrible it's absolutely horrible and I just wish I could change things about my past so I didn't have to be dealing with this I just wanted to enjoy food and everything so uh, what how it affected me uh, physically is I don't have periods anymore I haven't had a period in six years so people may look at that and say oh my god that's so good but in realistically it's not it's not healthy girls have to have periods to be healthy but not having one in six years i don't know i don't know how i think about it i don't know what i think about it to be honest like i do see it as a positive but in the back of my mind i know it's a negative i know it's not healthy because come on girls do need to have periods it's just a natural living thing but then also it affects uh, nails, it affects teeth, it affects your skin because you're not getting the right moisture into your body to make your skin like clear and everything. So that's why I've got like loads of um, spot, not spots, but scars. And I get very, on my skin, I, I always look in the mirror and I'm there just trying to get everything out of my skin because personal hygiene for me is a big thing. But some days, like when I have depressive episodes, I don't want to go for a shower. Normally, every day I go for a shower, no matter what. But sometimes it just gets to me and I just want to lay in bed all day. And that's another one that comes to it is um, tiredness. So when you're not getting the right nutrients, I said it right, I think. 
nutrients into your body that makes you feel tired all the time weakness and you lose a lack of mobility mobility motivation and it's affected me because I don't have a job now I don't go out at all I the only time I go out is either with Nicole or if I'm going out with dad when he's um, working four on four off and we go out in the car and drive and I love just sitting in the car having music on and just looking out the window it's it's just so nice and like I don't know I just like it but um, when he's in work and um, I don't know I just don't want to talk to anyone I'm here in my room 24 7 so yeah um but with the job thing that's when the seizures co came into my life um because bulim i i think the seizures have to do with my bulimia i can honestly say that's what i think because i'm not getting the right nutrients and everything to my body it affects the brain so when it affects the brain when i'm binging and purging it's not a good thing for your mind to think about and it affects the brain and then obviously that goes down into the physical uh, thing so say if I'm overdoing something I can have a seizure and that's really not my confidence as well about getting a job so that's why I'm jobless right now because I'm I am scared about getting a job like I was gonna go back to my old job in Tenpin where I used to work with kids uh, organize the parties and everything I absolutely loved that job but when I went back to there, I think it was the start of this year actually, or the start of last year, whenever, um, I went to the interview and I came out of there feeling great, but then the next day I said I can't do this because I was thinking more about the kids and how the parents would feel if they took their kids to the party and then they see a person having a seizure. It's not a good sign it's not a good thing for 10 pin either like you might lose customers over it and that's all i could think about so that's why i'm just so paranoid about getting a job because i don't know i just i just feel like it wouldn't be a good look for some companies and then that's why i home study because i don't want to go to college again because I'm fearing about if I would get bullied again or anything, I don't know. But having a seizure, it it changes you. And it when the seizures came into my life, I began to forget a lot of things. Like, if someone had a conversation with me saying, oh, we did this last week, I'd be like, I don't remember that. So, forgetting a lot of stuff is quite bad as well. But... You just have to go with it and that's how it affects me so that's the mind of a bulimic to be honest so what i might do is do two separate videos on what my binging does separately so yeah i might do that actually so that was today's video that was the mind of a bulimic how it affects me and how long and how it all started all my links are down in the description if you need to talk to me about anything please just reach out to me and i'll get back to you but i'll see you uh tomorrow in tomorrow's video and yeah have a good day have a good night and have a good sleep because sleep is essential well to me anyway it's my life <laughs> anyway ciao, ciao.